Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Bell. I'm going to share a trick, an Adobe Illustrator trick, that even the most seasoned Adobe Illustrator users might not know about. Have you ever wanted to use Adobe Illustrator's eyedropper tool just to apply the stroke or the fill of another piece of artwork instead of both the stroke and the fill? Perhaps you do the tedious process of opening up the color picker, copying the hex value, and then pasting the hex value for the artwork that you want to update. This short video shares how. It's a clip from my recent How to Make Symbols video, so be sure to subscribe and check that out. Here we go. I like the fill color of the background shape, the circle. I really like it. I think it works well with this bicycle. But I want to make the stroke color of that circle the same color as the bicycle. So I'm going to use the eyedropper to keep the fill color of this shape and apply that stroke color. First, let's just investigate that bicycle. If I go here layer and I select this area next to the target appearance, we go over here and this tells me that the fill color is that color, is that nice blue, but there is no stroke color. It's just a shape. It has no stroke color. It's just fill. It's a closed path in Illustrator. It's actually a compound path. So let's turn this back on and lock that bicycle. In a normal default eyedropper situation, you're applying the exact appearance of whatever shape you clicked. So if I select this circle, I can select it here, or I could have just clicked on it. And then I select the eyedropper tool and I use that eyedropper tool to click this bike. Let's click it. You can see that I have a circle with a nice blue color and no stroke color. It matches the exact appearance of that bicycle, which is not what I want. So I'm going to undo that, Control Z. So to apply that nice blue color to just the stroke of this circle, I first make sure that the stroke color is brought to the front of this graphic. And you can, you can actually click on the fill to bring that to the front or click on the stroke to bring that to the front. And then I hold Shift with the eyedropper tool selected. And then I click the bicycle. There you go. Now I have that nice matching blue outline line on my circle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more graphic design, cartography, and data viz tutorials.